Hi guys, hope all is well. Um, I'm just going to do a video about this week, um, what's kind of happened. It's been some decent stuff this week, um, so let's kind of get into it. So, first of all, dollar on daily time frame. We've come back up into this weekly zone that I'd mentioned before. So this was nice to see. So now it's really going to look to see if we're actually going to continue a little bit lower. We didn't break that high yet, um, but we are kind of pushing a little bit lower. Um, so far, what we did have is we did really have a really, really nice accumulate, uh, distribution. We have raid liquidity, raids, raids, that final raid. Price is looking to break below shift in momentum. We pull back into the area of imbalance. Price comes down. Now we break structure lower. This is our confirmation. So now we want to see if NFP, if we're going to have a bit of a pull up and then the head back down, or if we're actually just going to continue. Because looking at the structure range, this is our high, this is our high, low, high, 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 low. This is our higher high. Now, technically, this was our break of structure. We came back up and raided. We then came back down. So this should have been the first uh, point that everyone should have been looking at. Yes. You could have looked from here and equally you would have got taken out. But you should have identified that this for me isn't really like that strong of a raid. So um, looking for a second raid was probably going to be on the cards anyway. Um, so dollar, I am waiting for this potential area to get met. This potential area to get met. Or on a 30 minute, this area. But if I'm going to be honest with you, this hourly is looking the cleanest for me. So I do just want to wait and check out and see what happens with that um us 30 us 30 was a nice one i had two positions on on this we had a high time frame zone get met and this is a daily zone that i was actually waiting to get met so that was nice to see that got tested now when we come from out of here price created our root our accumulation right here and then you can see price accumulated we swept the lows in here let me just draw it on we swept the lows with this fishing move price then started to push back up to here so i was looking at this zone and i was also looking for a 30 this 30 minute zone down here yes we did have a slight test here and we did have another slight test there um but this would have been our asian low and this would have been our london low so i'm pretty sure if we just line those up that just just got taken and obviously this got taken as well so um, this was really really nice long position stops below the low and looking just to target up into this high so about a one to five this one was a little bit less obviously was about a one to four um higher time frame target still I was really looking to see if we were going to get some of this move getting taken out. Not to say that we can't. Um, if price does, in fact, break out of this high, I do want to look for retracements back down into this region to then take us long. Um, so we're going to wait and see on that. But off the accumulation within here, um, really, really nice trade opportunity. Um, so I am going to be excited going into next week to kind of see what happens with this pair. Nas, um, nothing really interesting, if I'm going to be honest. Literally nothing. I haven't even really done any analysis on this. I was waiting to see if we were going to get this final low get taken, but we didn't. And then that would have been very nice and valid opportunities to take off this zone. But again, we didn't. I would have liked to have seen this Asian low get taken out, but that's fine. doesn't always happen. Um, so I'm just leaving that for the moment. Um, AU. AU, we came off a really, really nice zone. I've been talking about this daily zone for God knows how long. We did finally come down. We tested it. And what we did test is we came in and we tested 50% of this overall down move. So you can see really, really nice test of the 50% there. From there, we then had a hourly zone created and then we had another hourly zone created but there was also a really 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 nice opportunity of the 15 minute yesterday so um, if we just break it down you can see we had a shift out of this new york high price then started to push up a little bit more going to the asian session we ran we create the low we started filling just some of this imbalancing price then came we broke structures higher awesome 
So now going into London session, I was waiting for a move back down into this zone and then actually have that continuation high because this obviously Australia is running in the Asian session. So having this Asian low, um, this Asian demand being created, that was really nice to see. Targets were only just up into this high. Um, so now I was really waiting to see what was going to happen um, with the rest of this. So that was a one to eight targets on this. Sorry, that was my doorbell that rang. Targets on this was just this weekly imbalance, but I had still favored this daily zone still up here, only because this is the range of our 50%. You can see this is your low, lower high, and your lower low. So now I was just really waiting to see if price could come back anywhere in the 50% of this range, or failing that if we did come higher into zones in here, if we do use our FIB, you can see that our FIB area is lined up really, really nicely with that daily closure. So that is going to be nice to see. And depending on what happens with NFP today, um, I do and could, would like to see some potential um, retracements back down, even into this four hourly candle. Um, I do have these two zones mapped out just for the time being. Um, you can see I've got that four hour zone all drawn on. I've got the hourly zone and I do have it scaled down just to a 30 minute. But if I'm going to be really honest, I think if price is going to come down all the way into here, I think we could raid these lows and actually just have a really, really nice test and do something like this. Um, that is kind of a big ask because that is a heavy, heavy, heavy retracement. But again, we will just wait for New York session just to kind of see what happens uh, happens with that um your gbp um uh no trades on that this week was some from last week but we've literally just been dying off the die off was expected obviously waiting for these daily zones to get met or potentially a little bit lower could we now see a bit of a retracement we can see on the daily we've created kind of a bit of an indecision so really and truly we can wait and see if we can get up anywhere into our 50 percent range what's up into that 50 percent i mean like nothing really to be honest um but let's let's wait and see kind of what happens with this because we very much well could kind of get a little bit of a push move from here even if price now um kind of started to want to push up or at least anywhere into this zone because this is the 30 minute which obviously gave off a lot of volume that give us that sell drive so um, in fact could see some short um some longs back up into this zone that'd be a nice 39 pit move silver really fucking clean trades on silver um this week um first of all we had the original entry this was here we ran out of that agent well first of all i was actually looking for this 30 minute demand zone to get met I was looking to see what reactions price would do around here because we broke lower. I was looking for anywhere off this zone um, to react from, but we broke above it. So in fact, this is kind of our shift. Bearing in mind, I did know that this was actually our overall higher time frame supply zone, which actually caused that first initial move. So um, we liquidated this low coming into the Asian or out of the Asian session, going to London, we broke highs. So now for me, I was just looking for the zone that caused that move. That was this right here. And my targets were, in fact, this New York high. And you can see we actually just met that today in here. So really nice one to five. After the back of that, I did notice we had a five minute move. In I did notice we had this five minute move here. But I also did see that we had this Asian low, which kind of caused that big significant run. So we had second entries here. Second entries would have been, for me, below this Asian low, just in case we had a manipulation like we did. Again, targets are running all the way to the top side up into that Asian high. And second entries, no, third entries could have been off this five minute. That would have been really clean. Um, but if I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't want to have my entry. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. Don't get me wrong. There really is nothing wrong with that. Um, I just personally don't really like to do these type of trades. And it was only, it was less than one to three. Um, so this really just goes to show when you are actually following the structure, 
actually following the shifts and following the raids, you actually can get in some really nice opportunities. But the main one for me was one of the first opportunities, which was this one. And this literally kissed all the way up. And we just took out that New York high. So um, silver, really, 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 really clean trade. I never really trade silver that much, um, but really, really nice to see. What I am seeing on silver, though, a couple of things, is overall, we're kind of, uh, we're not like, we're bullish technically, kind of. We had a big shift out of here, but this is our high, which I very much well see could um, price come into. Definitely want to see this high get taken, all of these highs and things. So overall kind of high time frame targets that I'm going to be looking for are anywhere within the 37,000 range. Bearing in mind, we do have lower zones in here, which could also get met, first of all. So around the 30K, if I'm going to be honest, let's drop this down to here. Coordinates. Let's leave it at 30K. Cool. So this 30k zone for me, I definitely want to see as a big target. Now, price has come into the 50% of this range. Now, what we've done is we've come all the way back down lower. We swept, we fished for stop losses. Price started to break higher. We pushed, we came in, we tested this zone. Oh, actually, we just missed that zone. Price came back down. We just tested the open of this last kind of down sell to buy movement. Swept liquidity within the form of lows here. Now we've broken structure. We're just looking for the zone that caused that break of structure. So now I'm really looking for price to come back down into here and then actually get that one, two, three drive in the um, market cycle. So um, definitely I am going to be looking for the 26,000 mark to get met again. Um, coming from the back of that though, I was kind of looking for somewhere in here to get met. We had a four hourly zone, which was off this candle. You can see we ran this high in here so now all for now all we're really looking for is price to pull back we are looking for those pullbacks to then actually go long now you can see the last time that our emas crosses all the way back here and price died and now the most recent time price has actually done that is in and off the back of this zone so really waiting to see longs from this zone is actually very crucial. And I do really want to see that if we can fill a lot of this imbalance up, that is going to be nice to see. I also do want to see if we can maybe react from this zone or if we are going to push a little bit deeper just into this zone. Now we can pull our fib. We can use our simple fib. Simple fib lining up with the area that we are looking for. And my first target that I'm looking for is to run out these equal highs. So that is nice to see. So any kind of move back down into this region to then actually go long is something I am very, very interested in. Um, so I am going to wait and see what happens with this pair and if we can just follow the momentum to the upside. Gold. Gold has been nice. We can take that 95 off. That's not needed. Um, gold is very really nice. We came... As we broke out of this supply in here, we created new demand. I believe it was on the daily time frame. Yeah, our daily demand. We literally kissed it. Um, then we started pushing back up higher. Now, daily zone, we have caused significant break of structure here. And we did invalidate this demand zone in here. But now what we are doing is we are kind of pushing back up to the top side. Now, I was looking for a couple of places and zones to get met. I was looking for this four hourly. And in this four hourly, we do have a really nice hourly zone in here, which I was looking to see, but I wasn't really looking too much. Um, and overall targets was in fact this overall hourly zone. Now, if we do get some sort of pullbacks going into NFP, that's amazing. I'm looking for this zone more to get um, met than buy because we had such a big sell to buy. And I'm pretty sure if I actually line this up, it's probably going to be in and around our 50%. Yeah, cool. So this is our 50% range. So I'm definitely going to be looking for potential buys in and around that 50% range, just because the rate of liquidity we had here was was just so clean, just clean sell to buy. Look at this. We ran to the type two manipulation. We ran the highs, we ran the lows, and then we actually started continuing. And for me, I honestly do think 2000s are still on the cards and on the table. Um, very nice psychological level for us. Um, so I am going to wait and see kind of what moves come in and play off of this zone. Now, if any of you guys got any questions about what I've said, please let me know. Feel free to fire away and I'll help you as much as I can. Um, 
but until then, um, this is kind of what I'm looking at for next week anyway, to be honest. Like, depend a lot. I feel like a lot of it depends on what happens with NFP. And now, if NFP we have a pretty um weak dollar, then we could see everything kind of advance and actually push a little bit higher. But really and truly, what I do want to see is I want to just wait and have some more confirmations um going into next week, um, or at least from today just to see um what sort of reactions we we are getting um so if you guys like i said if you guys got any questions please let me know feel free to fire away and i will help everyone as much as i can all right guys bye